What's up, Threadbanger? Robin Crin here with the Draw My Life Threadbanger edition. But before you get to know Threadbanger, you've got to get to know the people who started it. Since I'm 14 days older than Rob, I'm going to go first. My mom and dad both joined the Air Force after high school. My dad's from Florida and my mom's from Pennsylvania. And they were both stationed in Turkey for their first assignment. Yeah, not the bird, the actual country. I was conceived in Turkey, I imagine, during a scene kind of like this one, but I really don't want to talk about that. After Turkey, my parents both went back to the United States where they found out my mom was pregnant and had a shotgun wedding. The Air Force brought them to Las Vegas, Nevada, where I was born. But after a year and a half, my parents got divorced and I moved with my mom through the Air Force to New Jersey. We lived on McGuire Air Force Base, New Jersey. Then when I was about four years old, my mom and dad got back together. And when I was six, had my baby brother, Skylar. We lived a very happy life at that time. I did things like Girl Scouts and ballet and drama. And then when I was in 10th grade, we found out we were moving to Orlando, Florida. And I was very sad and I wrote a lot of sad poetry and drew a lot of pictures of sad people. But I eventually made friends and had a great last couple years of high school. So my name's Rob. How's it going, everybody? I was born in Miami, Florida and lived alongside my mom, my dad, and my older brother. My dad was completely obsessed with video cameras, so we always had the latest one, which meant me and my brother making a lot of stupid videos growing up. If I had a book report to do, I would be the kid in the back of your class that made a video instead. I wasn't the coolest, to say the least. Now, I didn't get cool till the end of middle school when I learned about bands like Nirvana and Nine Inch Nails. I went from being grunge rob to goth rob to raver rob in a short period of time. In the 11th grade, my high school TV morning announcement program that I hosted ended up getting me a job hosting a local kids' TV show. Since I was already in the biz, once I graduated high school, I blew college right off and moved directly out to Hollywood. So right after I graduated high school, my parents got divorced, big surprise, and my mom moved to Destin, Florida, and I moved in with my friend Danielle into our first apartment ever. We pretty much wreaked havoc and partied way too much. Needless to say, we didn't attend classes as much as we needed to. But anyway, Danielle would always tell me about Rob and how much I would like him, but we never actually met. And eventually, Danielle and I both needed to move back in with our parents, so I moved to Destin, Florida, and she moved to Miami, Florida. In Destin, I got a job waiting tables and actually made a lot of money doing that and started dating a guy named Aaron. We started doing a lot of research and learning about the environment and starving children and just all the effed up things that are happening in the world. So that brought us to Haiti, where we opened a safe haven in Port-au-Prince for street children, and we also built a school in the countryside of Haiti. And that's where I started doing my first documentary type work and editing my first videos. That's about the time when I was out in Hollywood having my dreams crushed. Okay, well, not really. I did some cool stuff, I had a couple cool jobs, but none like when I was hired by AOL to make daily video vlogs for him. My job, travel the world, live on rock tours, interviewing rock bands, and reporting from shows. It was amazing. After nearly four summers of living on the Warp Tour, you get pretty good at pinning, sewing, stenciling, and ripping up your clothing. This was the punk rock rob phase, and my first introduction into DIY. Then one day, I got a call from my mom, and she told me she had cancer. And within a year and a half, she passed away. I pretty much freaked the fuck out. Corinne's mom passed away about six months before mine, and it was pretty rough. This took me back to Florida for a while to be with my family, and Corinne just happened to be there also, and recently single. She was roommates again with Danielle, which was great, and that brought me over quite a bit. One thing led to the other, and Corinne and I started dating. On our very first date, Corinne ended up skinny dipping in the ocean. That pretty much sealed the deal. She apparently doesn't want me to tell you that part of the story. Due to our touring and traveling and bus living kind of lifestyle, we ended up both jumping onto one of Corinne's friend's veggie buses, which is a bus that runs on recycled vegetable oil. This, this was definitely the hippie rob phase. And then, like, one day completely out of nowhere, this crazy stomach thing happened, and I had to go to the hospital and have 18 inches of my large intestine removed. It was awesome. I stayed with Rob day and night in the hospital, and then we moved into Rob's dad's house. And one day, someone from Rob's old Hollywood days called him and asked us if we were interested in making videos for the internet. So we flew to New York City and pitched them Threadbanger. They loved it, and in 2007, we started posting videos to YouTube. 
Yeah, we were actually technically one of the very first DIY how-to channels to come out on YouTube and have consistent programming. Eventually, this led us to moving out to New York City, where we worked out of a small studio with other channels like Indie Mogul and Barely Political and Vsauce. We were in Brooklyn for about three years making Threadbanger and traveled the country meeting tons of designers and artists. It was awesome. In Brooklyn, we met Meg, and we actually lived right down the street from her. It was such a great time of friends, DIY, and the birth of internet video. In 2008, the economy came to a screeching halt, and by 2010, we weren't able to make Threadbanger anymore. To keep the lights on, we left Brooklyn and moved across the country to Los Angeles. And after seven years, I finally proposed to Corinne, and she said yes. Sweet. To make money, I began making videos for folks like Craft Magazine and About.com. And I actually started working at a fancy Beverly Hills talent agency that specialized in some of the larger YouTube channels. So for like two years, I worked alongside folks like Freddie W, The Annoying Orange, Epic Mealtime, tons of great people. But we really missed the Threadbanger community and spent a lot of nights crying about it. So when YouTube said that they would help us fund Threadbanger this year, we said, hell yeah. I quit my job and Corinne returned full time to the channel. And that brings us up to now. We've got almost 200,000 subscribers, which is awesome. And we're now putting out three shows a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Our entire lives are devoted to Threadbanger. So if you want to see more, be sure that you click that red button right there. And hey, we got some more videos. So if you want to check out another one, click this box right here. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.